If anyone's ever been threatened by a drug addict in Glasgow, you might already be aware of this stuff as it is hurled towards you at alarming speed. But for the rest of you, this is tenant special. Technically speaking, it's a 70 shilling ale, and I can find out very little else about this. It's not even listed on the tenant's website, and it is made by tenants at the Well Park Brewery. It's clearly not something they're proud of, but they also make so much money off of it that they don't want to stop making it. It's sort of the 2CV of the beer world. You know, it's, it's, sort, of a comp it's sort of a corporate embarrassment, but money. It's a 3.5% ale, so it's it's kind of in the same realm as, like, Bellhaven Best, that kind of a, you know, weak ale. I have never tried this. I don't think I've ever tried an ale from Tenants. They do do some, which is surprising to me. Uh, you go on the website, they've got things like Tenants IPA, which I did not know was a thing, and Tenants Scotch Ale, which I did not know was a thing. Um... And yeah, there's, there's a fair bit going on. We've tried a couple of Tenants products on this channel. We've tried the Zero, and we've tried the standard yellow-coated four and a bit percent lager. I'm gonna let you know, I'm quite a fan of Tenants products as a general rule. Um, they were once described to me as the best of the shitty lagers, which I think is an apt description. Um, it's not the best stuff in the world, but it's a lot better than the standard stuff you can get your hands on. Um, it's the king of the mediocre stuff. Um, and it's sort of the lifeblood of Scotland as well. Um, it would be fascinating to see Tenants and Iron Brew go up against each other in sort of one of those Harry Hill fights to see who's the best. Does he still make that show? I've not watched ITV in years. Anyway, I'm, I'm putting this off a little bit, aren't I? Um, I have not put this in the fridge because I forgot. So this is going to be fun for me. It's fine. Um, will it be fine? I don't know. I, I tried looking this up on um, a few... Oh, that's an interesting colour. Beer review sites. Um, they had things to say. And we shall leave it at that. Ah, oh, that is a wanker pour. Oh my god. Nope, stay, stay. Oh, <sighs> fucking stay of that. Stay of that. <sighs> I feel a jump cut coming on. That was not a quick process. But we're, we're, we're here now, so that's... The entire contents of the can. It's a 500 mil. I should have checked this beforehand. It's not like I haven't had the time on my hands. Yes, it's 500 mil. <laughs> that was worth waiting for, wasn't it? It's lovely artwork on there. Um, yeah, so it's a lovely ill mustard yellow with maroon highlights. All right, let's put. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, that's that smells taking me back to being a student. Yeah, yeah. It's it's got that kind of watery canned ale funk. It's familiar. I might almost say nostalgic. What is nostalgia if it's not fondly remembered? What, what is that? That's... Trauma? Yeah, it's, it's reminding me of, like, pounding cans of Belhaven Best at house parties. I don't know why that's my go-to comparison. It would be weird if that is what this is, because the Caledonian Brewery also produces Caledonian Best, which is their attempts to take that crown off of Belhaven. It's not succeeding at all, but I mean, hey-ho, it's, it's, it's there. Yeah, the... I, I could sit here all day and attempt to eke out something, but it, it's just not there. <laughs> it's just not there, okay? It's cheap canned beer smell. That's, that's, that's everything. Like, Hops if you kept them under the floor for 10 years, you know, that's uh, 
Um, it tastes like you accidentally dropped a single digestive biscuit in hot water. And that's it. It is, it is bland, dude. I feel like if doctors prescribed beer for the sick, this is what they'd give you. Because it is flavourless, odourless. I don't know where all that colour's coming from, to be honest, because none of it has translated into anything for, for you know, the, the, fa the face mouth. Oh, that is particularly poor. <laughs> that is, yeah. Is this just coloured water? Like, seriously, what? What happened here? It says it contains barley and wheat. Best before has got until July. I'm confused why people drink this. Because surely, I mean, you know, it wasn't expensive. I wouldn't say it was especially cheap. It wasn't expensive. Um, I think it was like a pound ten for the can. Which, you know, all right. But I mean, you can also get like a four pack of tenants, which tastes way better and is also stronger for about the same price. So I'm confused. The itch that this scratches, unless you just really hate lager, but I mean, I think for this to be your go-to, you'd have to really hate beer because there's nothing happening. There's really just nothing happening. Is there nothing happening or is it just me? No, it's like pay rises to the NHS. There's nothing happening. Is this a 1% beer? May as well be. Some people have an issue with me talking about politics on this channel. First of all, that's not politics, it's an injustice. Secondly, it's my channel, I'll do as I please. So when I start being baselessly evil to people, I think that I need to be stopped. Until then, I shall carry on. Yeah, there's nothing happening. There's no nothing there. It's It's got like the faintest cough of like a barley kind of a thing. I wouldn't even say it's bitter. I wouldn't say it's sweet. I'm, I'm going through like flavours and nothing is striking me other than it's just kind of like if you drank slightly weird water and if that came out your taps and you're like, is there a body in the tank upstairs? What's going on here? You know, it's, it's just got like a, a slight tang of something, but that's it. You wouldn't even know it was alcoholic until you've, you know, maybe had a few cans and you're like, Ooh, the walls are dancing. If, you know, 3.5% 3, 3 is enough to get you there. But uh, yeah, it's it's not great. But I think you already knew that going into this. And the main pleasure is just watching someone like me drinking Tenant Special because you're expecting to be really snooty and snobby about it. And let's face it, I have been. But it's just it just makes me sad. But at the same time, there are people that like it, or at least people that drink it. And I can't take that away from anybody, because that's free choice. That's, that's the market that we have. If you feel like supporting the channel financially, there's links to my Patreon, or you can join the channel as a member. If you feel like supporting the channel mentally, hit that thumb button. Eh? Eh? Yeah. You show that algorithm. You show that algorithm who's boss. That algorithm can fuck off. Uh, and subscribe to the channel, because... The same shop that did this also had some other... Let's say, delights? And I might get round to those... Sooner rather than later? Maybe? I don't know. Let me know down below, what, what should I try that is... Mysteriously appealing to a wide market? <laughs> Let's, let's put it that way. But for now, I will say thank you very much for watching, and do join me next time, or I'll be drinking something else.